Tom Lake, a book review. I was introduced to the book through the book review podcast, where Ann Patchett discussed the writing process and owning a bookstore in Nashville. I hadn't before read any Ann Patchett books, but if this book is any indication, it will not be the last. I already have Belcanto on hold from the library. The book, through its kind of reverse rosebud, focuses primarily on the female protagonist Laura Kennison, rather than the wayward, emotionally stunted, happy-go-lucky actor Peter Duke on his own kind of Orsonian journey in the tradition of Citizen Kane. The pieces of her life are filtered through nostalgic memories of the past, pain as a present pandemic, and possible future juxtaposed by hope and climate change. There is a kind of hopefulness in the hopelessness. The book takes place on one of the front lines of climate change, cherry orchards. There is a discussion about whether the future will wipe away the farm entirely, or whether any family member will, will even want to continue the toil of farm work in the future. The narrative is refracted through myriad lenses. The husband left wondering if Laura loves Duke. The daughters evaluating the life of a mother as she tells her story with parts purposefully left out. The nostalgia of her mother on her memories before motherhood. There is the truth throughout the novel that we live many lives before our present one. All of these different viewpoints create a Degas-like Sunday in the Park. She alludes to this when she says, The thing about picking cherries is that you only look at the tree you're on, and if you have any sense, you'll just look at that branch you have your hands in. We won't look down at the rows of what seems to be an unbroken field of red dots, a pointillist's dream of an orchard. If we opened our minds to all the cherries waiting to be picked, we'd go home and go back to bed. I would highly recommend this book to those that like slow builds and late payoffs, which comes all the way until the end of the book.